Life is a series of tests, and on the other side of these tests are clear indications of effective or ineffective preparation. It's black and white. You either prepared well enough, or you didn't. Something about these tests is that they can't be ignored and they have to be taken at some point. And there are also these vulnerable situations where you have this fear of failure, this fear of inadequate preparation, or this fear of disappointment. Because these fear factors exist, it's easy to degrade our preparation, to look at our preparation as if it's not good enough, to doubt the work we've put in, to lose sight of the primary goal. We forget the reason we even showed up to take the test in the first place. We forget that there is growth and understanding on the other side of the test. We forget to draw on our preparation and confidence and instead become crippled by these fears that are now wildly out of proportion in our minds. And something I found this year alone is that if you show up to the race and your only goal is to do the best that you possibly can, then it cuts through all these fears. And when you truly put yourself in a position to race well and accept all the vulnerability that goes along with that, then you're either gonna race the best race of your entire life or you're gonna fail and learn more from that race than you ever would from any success. So I guess this is test number one. outside it is race day morning and we're gonna give this thing a go I guess uh, yeah definitely still have some nerves definitely still have like those feelings right now it's like oh I gotta go race right now it's kind of weird uh, <laughs> I haven't experienced that in a long time and I'm hoping to turn those nerves into confidence so I guess the goal today is to be calm dig deep a little later in the race and squeeze and just see how everybody else goes out. If we go out comfortably and everybody's feeling good and kind of tucked into the pack, then I'll be happy there. I'm excited for it. It is foggy and misty. This is gonna be good. These are some really good 5K conditions. This is gonna be fun. It's 5K day. I feels like practice today. I'm still here. I'm tired. I feel like I have class later, but I don't. <laughs> Never gonna get it. You guys are great. Woo! Great job, Bree. Woo! Rose. I dripped out. Army kit. We got the New Balance. Super shoes on today. Okay, okay. I want to test them out this week. That's kind of what I've been doing. So we're gonna see how they how they feel out here in a race. Sure. I feel like I can run the right paces in them. And we're just gonna see what a 5K feels like, right? Nice. <laughs> yeah, that one's going in. Runners on your marks. I think I'm leaving like at noon. I mean, I think I'm leaving at 6:30. So at this point, am I gonna show up and blow the opportunity and forget the preparation and fail the test? Or am I just gonna go into it and actually give myself a shot? I feel like truly at this point, the only options that I have are to make up a billion excuses or to show up and embrace the uncertainty and fear and doubt that goes along with running through this dark forest.
your marks. Brock, let's go. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on, guys. Work together. Work together. Work together. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes. Dude, great job, guys. Grind in that last mile. I try to survive. 1456. Yeah. 1456. First try, 5K. Trying to get strong, man. And yeah, this is a good test to see where the heck I am. They were on 1456 right now. It's pretty crazy. Cause I haven't done a steady training block in like five months. <laughs> so we gotta run that right there. Shows how the cross training pays off. And just doing something consistently over a period of time helps you stay in shape. Started leading on the second to last lap. Started leading and then Braden took it, but it's fine. I know Braden's in great shape right now, so it's a matter of respect. I mean, the man runs 1430, so. Yeah. 1425, I think, or something like that. Tying up the shoes. I guess we're just gonna try to survive maybe like 10 miles today, maybe 13, depending on how we're feeling, depending on what the sun looks like. It's another day, another dollar out here. Day after the race, so I hope I survive. We're at about 6.30 pace right now. Yeah, this doesn't feel good today. <laughs> miles at 619 per mile and my body is not too happy with me but it was a good run <laughs> I enjoyed it How about you <laughs> I had a good time another 40 something mile a week in the books which compared to zero that I was doing before it's really good <laughs> Miss Powers yeah. thank you for being the best girlfriend ever and coming along <laughs> to film my run <laughs> you're welcome you're a legend I will see you later. Your band. My band. I'll steal it. I'm joining a band. You're joining a band? Yeah. Okay, All right. well, see ya. we'll be chicken. Yep. So I have this crazy goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and the only way that's ever gonna happen is if you guys like and share the videos and subscribe and do everything. So if you please do that right now, that would be incredible, and I'm just gonna try to keep posting as much content as I can and keep the running YouTube alive. So thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. You look like a plucked chicken. Look you know how muscular they look. Put that in the video. He looks like a plucked chicken. Look you know how muscular my shaved legs look. I'm not videoing that. Yeah.